the world if you want be happy let's laugh uh, volunteering entering my life the first time i saw a movie called beyond borders i must have been 13 years old and i wasn't um aware of what's going on in the world when i saw that movie i was shocked i I didn't expect it to see what I saw, and it shocked me. So I, I just kept thinking, it's not possible. I mean, it's, someone has to do something. So three years later, I was 16, and I went to the um, volunteer firefighter corps in my city. I was in the health part. I would do first aid care in emergency, emergency mm -hmm. situations, and I would do transportation of heal people and it changed my life. I mean, sometimes people would look at me and they would say, oh my God, you're so young and you're so sweet. And I would think, yeah, but it's not everybody like this. I have a friend that says, happiness doubles when you divide it. Mm -hmm. And that it works for me like that. I mean, if people were scared, I would just like share my happiness, share my love, because uh, they would, feel it they would feel the same as me if i just share it we have everything in the world that we have we have enough for everyone we just need to share it it can be money it can be food it can be love so i love humanity and i don't want that anyone in the world to have less than me i'm happy i'm healthy i have clothes i have friends i have a house i want everyone to have the same we often meet people that just don't care, just don't care. But I met people that were really nice and I felt, okay, so I'm doing a good thing. I mean, if humanity didn't help themselves, I don't know, we would be just like any other creature. We would be animals if we didn't help. That's why we are different. We think, we love, we have to help each other. Last uh, April, I was elected as the Dutch Youth uh, Representative uh, for, on Sustainable Development to the UN. And uh, for me, it's such a great opportunity because I'm, I'm a youth delegate, so I can speak more freely, like not within a company or within an organization, but I can just tell what I think. Uh, and it was really great to just tell them, like it's easy to sit in, in our suits in the Netherlands and talk about climate change while people in the south are really experiencing it right now and so I, I really feel strong about going there and activate but it's also quite an, uh, an effort for me because I spend uh, 20 hours of my week it's this volunteering job so for me I have only like 20 hours left to uh, to work to pay my rents I mean, I can work for the money, but it's not going to change the world around me. It's not, I think it's not the right uh, motivation for working. I mean, if you're volunteering, you work because you believe in what you do. And I think that should be also a motivation for people who do paid work. <laughs> but with volunteering, it's much stronger that you do in what you believe is good for you and the, the world around you. The energy you get from volunteering and people uh, doing what they believe is really good it really empowers a lot of, it spreads out to a lot of other people. It's also a big network that you just uh, create. And if I have to find a job afterwards, I mean, it makes it a lot easier for me to, to find work and to know what's going on in, in the world of sustainable development uh, around me. I mean, it's not, it's not always easy, but that's why you, you yeah, it's a way of life, I think, you choose for it. At the beginning, I think it was simply curiosity. I started volunteering when I was 15. I am 34 now, so it is almost 20 years. Before volunteering, I thought of a very linear uh, life trajectory, like, uh, okay, uh, studying, working, having a family. And uh, that is, of course, still there, but now I see that there are many other paths, many other ways. Uh, and you don't have to be linear. You don't have to be only one way. You can change a lot of things. You can take a lap year, you can change uh, jobs, uh, because vocation becomes more important than things like money, like uh, social status. Volunteering is a learning process, a very, very important one. On one hand, you learn very practical stuff like um, 
management, uh, social skills, especially when you volunteer very young. On the other hand, of course, you learn a lot about people, uh, but also how to be assertive, how to uh, defend your own position. For volunteering, you need to give 100%. Now, 100% of what? Of what you decide. But what you commit to do, you have to do. And you have to feel it as a, a really a must. Uh, of course, uh, I had to renounce too many things for volunteering, but it pays. It, it really pays. Uh, there's something called social capital. How much money would we need uh, to uh, do the work that volunteers do with paid staff? Probably the work wouldn't be the same, absolutely, but even to do something close, how much money would we need? We probably wouldn't have that money. The way I happened to become a volunteer was like a long time ago that you face some situation where you don't even think that you're a volunteer, but it begins like that. You face situations that they are unfair, or you just want to raise your voice and show what you want. It's community work. It's a uh, few things. It could be like uh, we have a field, uh, a field in front of our uh, social compound, and they're uh, doing some work in there, and we just want to have a, a place for us in there. So we would like to ask for uh, I don't know uh, a basketball net or something like that, and we have to ask for that, and we have to go and uh, discuss with people that we might not know at the beginning and. And uh, as we say in French, quand on n'a pas de tête, on a des jambes. Uh, when you don't have a head, we have legs. We see all the Arab Spring, all those people there are in process to at least reach the first step that makes the thing change forever. Those people, they were not like, they were, they were like, they had this will of change. They have no uh, structure, they have nothing, but they have a common will. So you see people, they begin by a commitment, they, been, they begin by a, like something that moved them, and they finish by thinking that at one point we need to organize ourselves. And that's what happened to me when I uh, begin by like help, helping uh, friends of mine in doing something in my community or uh, uh, some people around me and finishing by being here. And it's, uh, that's the point of uh, you, you, you want to, to arrive to a level that it makes it significant. How can people be poor or how can people not be represented? How, and this is the thing that voluntary can bring you. And that's a space that we should like use and abuse, I don't know, like, because volunteering is the space for all those people who are like willing to go and not even change, bring something to, to people that are not they don't have the capacity to go and they don't have the information to go and find it. You, they don't have the, the, it is not available for them. It is available in the society, but it's not like uh, reachable for them for a different reason. Education or information or even like, uh, uh, I don't know, it could be anything. The thing is like really, that's to create balance. And that for that, the word needs it. And we will need it to, uh, for uh, how to say it like for longer uh, forever if we think in, in a, a word without volunteering it means that the world is in an idyllic word and it would be great but we need volunteering what makes volunteering for me so something very important is that young people have the chance to develop themselves when I was a, a child, I was really shy and not not self-confident at all. And when I joined my youth organization, I just got the chance to to develop my personality, to get social skills, to work with others, to interact, know how to to manage manage people, to to take responsible responsibility for others, and. I really, really improved a lot of volunteering and that's the reason why volunteering is a really important uh, thing in my, my life. Okay, there was family, then Rural Youth Club, then my friends, which are also uh, members of the Rural Youth Club, and, and then there was 
some time or some somewhere at school. So it was really, really the most important thing for me. And I, I spent hours there. And and yeah, it was. Of course, we I uh, didn't get money for it because I I just volunteered. But that's that's something really not necessary, I think, because. If you get money for it, you don't do it because you would like to do it. And for me, for myself, I I just thought that I will become, I'll work somewhere and go on volunteering because that's what makes life more interesting. Life would wouldn't be like this, or the world wouldn't be like this without volunteering and, and volunteers. It's it's such an important part of, of the whole world and we wouldn't be here if if people haven't started volunteering that's just uh, i think that no the world would not be able to go on like this without so many volunteers that's that's the yeah i suppose looking back now um my first volunteering started when i was about 16 and I was asked to help out backstage of a performance of arts uh, with scenery because um, they knew I liked to work with materials and building things. Um, at the same time uh, when this was going off and I was asked to do this, I started to join up with my local club of young farmers and basically from there, from joining up with them and starting this volunteer and helping out I've gained so much confidence in myself um, learned like my own skills of talking to different people from someone across the street to someone from a whole different country uh, the communicational skills is how I've changed so much since I've left school and started doing all this has been unreal um, one of the big things for me though for with volunteering um, is that I've I realised from my point of view that you have to start at home because if things aren't right at home then you're only running away from it helping somebody else. Um, we have a big celebration for the new year. We have a day of games and uh, a big party to say for all the local community to come along and join bring all the little children and kids um, because I suppose in a way looking back now not everybody has a brilliant new year doesn't have a great fantastic Christmas we do lose people through this through the years and when we are celebrating um, and we are missing somebody close to home it's not the easiest thing and a way for this party is bringing everybody together so they can celebrate it still with the friends and still realise that there is people there around them that do still care about them and we are going to help each other through life. Um, this year my uncle um, killed himself and it's, I've only just been thinking about it now really and he killed himself because of depression we never knew about it in our own family, which in a way really hurts that he couldn't tell us what was going off. And um, he, he could only talk to different people that didn't even live in our country, that they lived in Ireland, we found out. And he'd lost his job. Um, he was running out of money. He hadn't got anything coming in, things hadn't gone right in his life and it all got the best of him and even though he wasn't the most friendliest person, um, might have tried to wind my mum up, my grandma, my uncles, um, did annoy them, would have never wanted it to happen. Um, so in a way, I'm, what I, I, really, I really want these celebrations to go off to encourage people to come out and not be scared in a way and to make sure they do realize they have got people there
and I don't think it would ever be possible that volunteering could never exist. Um, human nature does want to help each other. If we want, if it's a automatic reaction or not, we will always be volunteering because volunteering, at the end of the day, is helping somebody out. Personally, I think somewhere along the lines, somebody will need to be paid. Um, it's not what volunteering is about, but nothing in this world is for free. And unfortunately, no matter how people don't like the idea of somebody getting paid to do volunteering, if they've put that much effort on that much um, time into it that they've given up, um, they have got a possible chance of losing their own home. And to me, that's not sensible. If, they want to, if people want to do the work for volunteering, that's brilliant. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to struggle and end up being a victim and you need volunteers to help you, then you need to help yourself first. It doesn't have to be a lot, but something. Taking time out of your normal life. A real expression of active citizenship. It should be something that you are doing and you are doing it with pleasure, that is giving you something. Is caring, is solidarity. This is a vocation.